So end of the Barton game, we're here to interview Sax. Not that one, not that one. <laughs> this one, Gav Saxby. Gav, just give us your thoughts on the game first. Well, um, we've gone with a bit of a mixed bag really in there. I thought first off we were tremendous, created a lot of chances. Chances we should be taking really with the standard players we've got. And then second half, I think we got a bit scrappy. Mm, yeah. yeah, they come into the game, last 20 minutes, we're making decisions we probably shouldn't. Yeah. And what the gaffer's telling the team to do, and players just taking it upon themselves to make probably the wrong decision. So lots of things to work on going forward. Yeah. But I think um, we all said sat up at the back of the stand. It, it sort of worked for us because if we'd have been five, six, seven up after an hour, you don't learn anything. Yeah, do you? No. But the fact that they were still in the game meant they kept coming at it. Yeah, didn't they? to be fair to Barn, I thought they were a very good side to yeah. be fair. Yeah. And I think they'll do really well next year. Good group of experienced players that gave us a really good test today, yeah. Yeah, they got no no bird, who who played for a few seasons back yes, as well. Yeah. So I think he fancied one. Yeah, no, definitely. I think a couple of their lads were uh, ex former players here, so yeah. they'll always raise the game as well. Yeah. Try and impress, but yeah, a really good test for us today. Yeah, and just to for um, for any of our fans who, who don't know anything about you, just tell us a bit about yourself, you know, what your experience is and where you've played? Yeah, well, to be fair, if I list all the clubs I've played for, I'll be here all night. To be <laughs> but um, from Mansfield, based in Mansfield, started off at Clipston and then made my way through the leagues at Alfred and Tamworth and then moving over to Matlock and then went way back down. Played at this level probably for about five years, played here a few times and then now I'm just making steps into the coaching side, which I'm really enjoying. Yep. Your dad's a legend as well. <laughs> Don't tell him that. Like, uh, <laughs> some people say so. <laughs> Uh, just give us a, a bit about the philosophy of being a keeper as well, because it's got an unusual position, isn't it? You know, there's, there's no one else behind you. No, you you is. drop one clanger and pour th world, nine worldies. Yeah. Everybody remembers the clanger. Certainly, I, I certainly say mentality is a big thing for a goalkeeper. It's like say it can be a little old position at times. Like say, ball comes in the box, you drop the ball, somebody will tap it in. Whereas a striker probably got ten chances and still yeah. will be here at the end. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's all about mentality and being mentally tough, really. Yeah. Yeah, so lads looking ready for the first season, you think? Whenever yeah, that might really be. really impressed. Whenever that might be, yeah. Uh, it's a really good group in there. Yeah. Yeah, some really good characters. Fantastic yeah. lads, and we are gelling. And uh, the two goalkeepers I'm working with have been absolutely outstanding. Yeah. Tommy's been unbelievable, especially in helping Alfie as well, with Alfie being young. Yeah. Tommy's experience and just coming in and working with them both has been absolutely brilliant. Yeah, and I guess it must be difficult because you, you're kind of having to hold them back because you know that they're ready, they're ready to go. But we don't know where to start. Yeah, line, and just wait for that start date. Yeah, that's right. It's just getting that fine balance, making sure the lads are ticking over. Yeah. And just like I say, being ready for when we do get that start date for definite, ready to go into the season. Cheers, Sax. Much appreciated. No, no problem. Thanks for your time.